In this video, we will be studying about the kinds of table. See, we have divided the kinds of table according to their works, according to their, how they are derived. So, according to the purpose, then according to originality, Then, according to construction, according to purpose, your table is divided into two parts, that is your general purpose table. Or the second is your specific purpose table. According to the originality, your table is divided into again two fonts that is original table or the derived table. And according to the construction, your table is divided into two parts. Again, that is your simple or one way table or the complex table. The complex table is further divided into three parts that are double or two way table then your treble table and the last is your manifold table now let's understand these kinds of table in detail. According to the purpose, number one we have is general purpose table. Your general purpose table is the table that which is of general use. It does not serve any specific purpose or specific problem under consideration. Such tables are just data banks for use of researchers for the various studies. Like if I say about the reports and the tables of the census of India. You as a researcher will use this table and draw some results. So these are also known as the reference tables. So using these tables then you go to some specific you know researches or the specific purpose. The second comes is your special purpose table. The special purpose table is that table which is prepared with some specific purpose in mind. table which is prepared for some specific purpose. Generally these are small tables limited to the problem under consideration and these are also known as the summary tables. Like the profit and loss of iron and steel industry in the past 10 years you make the table. So in this there is a specific purpose of the table that is the profit of the iron and steel industry. So the table is formed for the specific purpose. In that case it is also known as the summary tables. Original table. Now according to the originality the ta uh, tables are divided into two parts that is original table or the derived table. See when you we present the data in the table in the same form and manner in which they are collected then it is the original table 
that is the presentation of data in the same form and manner in which they are collected that is known as your regional table and if I talk about a derived table which means a derived table is that in which the data are not presented in the form or manner in which they are collected and instead you use the percentages or ratios in the table and compare the data so that data you have collected and you have used some mathematical uh, methods on it and you have calculated the percentages or ratio so you have made the table of the percentages and ratios in that way you have derived the data from what the actual data you have collected in that way your table is a derived table According to construction, again your tables are divided into two parts. Number one is your simple or one way table. See, a simple table is that which shows only one characteristics of a data, which means the classes that is 10th, 11th, 12th, right, and the number of students. Let's say 100, then 70, then uh, 80. So in this only one characteristics of a data is shown. So this is simple or the one way table. Second we go to the complex table. Complex tables are the tables which shows more than one characteristics so these are known as the complex tables on the complex table we have first table that is two-way table or double table you call it so two-way tables are the tables in which two characteristics are shown which means the class 10th, 11th, 12th, boys and girls. In this what you have shown, you have divided the number of students into two parts, into two characteristics that is boys and girls. So this table is your two-way table. Treble table is the table where the data is shows the table shows the three characters. In this we have a let's say class 10th, 11th and 12th, right? We have number of students that is that are boys or girls. Then we have categorized again from rural area, boys, urban area boys, rural area boys or urban area. See in this table, how many characteristics you have used? First, you have classified the student on the basis of class, that is 10th, 11th, 12th. Then, on the basis of sex, that is your boys or girl. Is the, the child boy or a girl? Then, on the basis of locality, that is rural or urban. So these on the these three characteristics you have made the table. So this is your treble table your manifold table is this table which shows the characteristics more than three characteristics of the data so if i divide the number of students on the basis of class and then i divide them as boys and girls then I further classify it according to the rural or urban. Then I further classify that married or unmarried.
then uh, so these you have classified the data in more than three characteristics the four characteristics you have used so whenever you show more than three characteristics of the data in the table in that case it is known as a manifold table i hope you have understood the kinds of table do download our college learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us